From there, we go to how the coming of the colonial administration, yes, affected the economy of Africa traditional society. The coming of the colonial administration, remember, they came with the money what economy, whereby people had to use money in order to, in exchange of what, of goods. The colonial administration also came with the ways of people working in order to do what? To get to be paid. And because the money economy was here now, that meant that people had to do what? To purchase items. That's why uh, the, 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 the traditional community had to be introduced to a system whereby now land was not what? Communally owned. So, how this colonial administration affected the economy of the African traditional is number one, land was given to European settlers. Some of them are still there now, for those who are doing history, they are there, yes? For example, the De La Mer, I can give you the, the most recent one. They own large pieces of land. So the African land was alienated to what is given to the European settlers. And then these European settlers also started growing cash crops on those on our land, on the African land. So and because they started growing cash crops, there was need now for African wage labor, whereby the Africans are the ones who are supposed to work in the what? Plantation. Not one king come. Also, because now the Africans needed to work in this uh, land that belongs to European settlers, they needed to be taxed, the money that they are being paid. So there was taxation. And remember now, Africans were not allowed to grow what? Cash crops. They did small scale farming because now they were what? Squatters. Most of them lived in the settlers' farms. They did not have, if you are a settler, it basically means that you do not have your own what? Land. Also, uh, the Africans were employed as soldiers and porters at the outbreak of the World War II. And this came about uh, in the coming of the colonial administration. So they had to be employed as soldiers and porters so that they can also be paid. The, that is the in the World War One and Two. Also, in the completion of the Ugandan railway that was uh, constructed, the Indians settled there in the towns and they established what businesses. So that was also that was one of the that affected also the economy of the African traditional society. And where, where do you think this word duka comes from? It comes from there. When they say the businesses, they were calling them what? Dukas. And then from there, there was the introduction of formal education. Formal education whereby most parents were required to pay what? School fees for their children. This was due to the coming of the colonial administration and it affected the economy now because the African needed to work for their children to go to, what? to school so they can be able to pay school fees. And people, in order for a person to receive medical care, now the medicine men became absolute. People needed to go to the hospitals and they needed to pay in order to receive what? To receive medical services. Also, because foreign goods were introduced and they imported, they imported goods from Europe. Now, people needed money in order to buy soap, clothes, utensils, radios, watches and food. Why do you think uh, some time back people used to, to value the radio? Yes, you carry, a, you buy a big radio, you put it on your wallet and you go listening to music. And then if you are the only one who has a TV in your, in your, in your home, the whole clan comes to watch the TV there in the evening. It's because it was brought about by the colonial administration. And people, now I don't want to, because people needed to buy these imported goods. They needed to work. 
So they can buy these soaps, they can buy the clothes and the ornaments. Also, Africans attended mission schools and became with, equipped with the skills so that they can be able to be employed as clerks by the colonial administration. And also there was growth of towns because now the starting of the businesses by Africans in order to sell their produce. Remember now even if they are buying the imported goods from the colonial government or the colonial, yes, they also needed to do or to trade their own goods, to sell their own produce. So, and because they wanted to sell in the towns, there was growth of towns. 